Could you, um, could you talk to us a little bit more about your songwriting process? Like, could you take us through like one of your songs, the lyrics of one of your songs, and tell us about what your thought process was as you were going through it? Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, here's a good, here's a good one to talk about lyrically. It was, the song wasn't a hit, but I really liked it. It was called, the song is called uh, Darling Lorraine, and it's on an album called You're the One. Well, first of all, it's like something that I, it's like my own private joke. Darling Lorraine was a doo-wop song from way, way back, so I, I, I often have little quotes of doo-wop things anyway. But I have a musical, you know, setting, and now I'm writing lyrics. So the opening lines of songs are really crucial, very important. I try to make the opening lines in my mind to have this angle so that I could, you know, as opposed to, now that's the end of the second verse and you have nothing more to say other than to repeat the first and second verse in some other form. So this song, Darling Lorraine, I started it off with the first time I saw her, I, could, I couldn't be sure. I don't know what that was. But the sin of impatience, which was like a little note that I had written to myself, I put that in there. But the sin of impatience said, she's just what you're looking for. Okay. So I walked right up to her, cliche, with the part of, and with the part of me that talks, little joke. <laughs> I introduced myself as Frank, another joke, because I know the guy's a liar, he's not Frank at all. <laughs> from New York, New York, another joke, because people from New York never say I'm from New York, New York. You know, I say, I'm from Syracuse, New York, but you don't say, I'm from New York, New York. No. It's true. So, true. Uh, it's Frank from New York, New York. She's so hot, she's so cool, I'm not. I'm just a fool in love with darling Lorraine. Cliche after cliche. But I've introduced the characters, Frank and darling Lorraine. OK, let's see. The next verse. Oh yeah, so now I begin the next verse. All my life I've been a wanderer. And I think, you're not going to get away with another verse of cliches. <laughs> so I immediately make a turn and I say, all my life I've been a wanderer. Not really, I mostly live near my parents' home. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, Lorraine and I get married, and the usual marriage stuff. Boom, now we're moving faster. I'm not even getting into like what going on. I did the usual marriage stuff. And then one day she says to me, from out of the blue, Frank, I've had enough. Romance is a heartbreaker, and I'm not meant to be a homemaker, and I'm tired of being darling Lorraine. Okay, good. Conflict here now. <laughs> what does Frank have to say? What? You don't love me anymore? What? You're walking out the door? What? You don't like the way I chew? You know, at which point my wife Edie said, you can't say that because people will know that it's us. I said, no. <laughs> That's every guy. It's not just <laughs> you don't like the way I chew. Hey, let me tell you, you're not the woman that I wed. You say you're depressed, but you're not. You just like to stay in bed. Really, a guy with a lot of insight. <laughs> uh, 
She likes to stay in bed. And I don't need you, darling Lorraine. 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 I long for your love. So now the fight turns into he just, you know, he admits the truth. Now he's kind of vulnerable. So the next thing he does is like completely change the subject. Financially speaking, <laughs> I guess I'm a washout. Everything is buy and sell and sell and buy, and that's what the whole thing is all about. If it had not been for Lorraine, I'd have left here long ago. I should have been a musician. Inside joke. Should have been, <laughs> I should have been a musician. I love the piano. But she's so something, I forgot. She's so, she's so, she's so light. She's so free. I'm tight, but that's me. I feel so good with Darling Lorraine. Okay. Then the next part of the song that I wrote had, was in a different key, and the changes, it was so sweet, it was almost sickening. <laughs> I said, what context, what words would fit into this context of so sweet? So I said, on Christmas morning, Frank awakes to find Lorraine has made a stack of pancakes. They watch the television. I like that stack of pancakes. I don't know why. <laughs> Sounded good to me. So, they watch the television, husband and wife. All afternoon, it's a wonderful life. It's a pun, pun on, the, on, the, on the Frank Capra movie and also on their life. It's a wonderful life. Then, what? You don't love me anymore? What? You're walking out the door? You know, now I'm re this is like a repeat of, a, of like a chorus or something. What? You don't like the way I chew? Hey, let me tell you. You're not the woman that I wed. Give me my robe. I'm going back to bed. I'm sick to death of you, Lorraine. And as soon as I wrote that, I said, oh my God, she's going to die. Then Lorraine, Lorraine, her hands like wood. The doctor was smiling, but the news wasn't good. Last verse, darling Lorraine, Please don't leave me yet. I know you're in pain, pain you can't forget. Maybe I'll go down to the corner store and get us something sweet. Here's an extra blanket, honey, to wrap around your feet. All the leaves were washed with April rain. April was the cruelest month. All the leaves were washed with April rain, and the moon in the meadow took darling Lorraine. And that was that song. And I didn't know.